Well, unless you've been living under a rock, we live in the 21st century, so now we can get these little robotic machines to clean our household. But if you're a messy person like me, you might need more than one for a vacuum. Alright, so we have the iRobot S9, we have the iRobot i7, but it seems like these robot vacuums are aging to definitely older models. So hopefully, iRobot can come up with a new model to satisfy the people that want the new shinier things. Well, hello Internet World, how's everyone doing today? Alright, so I'm super excited today because I will about to release a brand new well, vacuum. Yeah, it seems like a million years from now since they released a new product. Okay, so it's called the J7, but my question is, is the J7 basically a rebranded version of the i3 with a fancy new skin and new name? Well, stick around and find out. I'll tell you everything you need to know about the new J7. Alright, before we begin, make sure you smash the like button. Notice my like pillow is a little smashed over there. Get smashed. Like button, like, yeah, okay. Alright, so the newest thing is iRobot's releasing a new platform called the Genius 3.0, and within that new platform is called the Precision Vision Navigation. Yeah, that's a handful. But basically, in a nutshell, the new J7 can actively avoid poo, power cables, small children, pets. I don't know about the small children part, but it's getting smarter now, and what they're gonna do is allow the user to decide if it's actual pet feces or if it's actually shoestrings or a power cable, and you have two options in the app. So what you can do is tell the robot vacuum to go around it. So if it's like a power cable or shoestring, it's not gonna cause any damage. Or if it's like pet feces, well, you can tell the robot vacuum to completely avoid that area. So you can go in by hand and clean it up yourself. I don't recommend using the mopping robot to mop up pet feces. But that's my next point. Yes, this new J7 is working with the Bravo Jet M6, so it's gonna use the Imprint link which allows the robot vacuum to clean then once it's done it will tell its little Bravo Jet M6 to clean afterwards Very cool technology and I find it works very well Also you got the imprint mapping so like it's bigger brothers like the i7 the i8 It can go and map out your floor plan. I'm not sure it's gonna be faster Usually it takes about three to five times to map out your floor plan, but it was a huge deal for me Okay, so next thing about the J7 is let's take a look at the design here. It's very similar to the i3 so when I first saw the J7, I was like, yeah, this is basically an i3. So what they did is they removed these two buttons, the home button and spot function. Uh, just from the picture, it could change, so don't quote me on this. But it looks like it only has a single button to start the cleaning job and to power down the well, vacuum. Okay, so they also removed the little icon sensor, which allows it to help dock with its docking station. But everything else about the J7 is very similar to the i3, the i4. But if we spin this guy around, the bottom is basically identical. It's gonna have the dual extractor bars that are all silicone, which makes it really easy to remove the pair hair. Also, it's gonna have the optical flow sensor. So this helps indicate that it's gonna use uh, gyro navigation and also this front-facing camera to map out your floor plan. Now, keep in mind that the i6, i7, i8 did not have the optical flow sensor since it had a camera up top, a 270 degree panel view camera. Okay, you also have a single side brush and also a bunch of cliff sensors so your robot vacuum doesn't take a nice trip down the stairs. But everything else about the J7, even like the dustbin is very similar, and it's gonna use the same vacuum system, which is 10 times stronger than like its previous generation. I believe like the 960 they compared it to. But here's a look at the dustbin, and yes, it's very dirty. I should probably clean this out. So the dustbin is washable, but make sure you remove the filter. Uh, the filter's not washable. About the new self-emptying bin. Okay, so you may notice the redesign here. It's shorter, it's wider, and the reason for that is iRobot's gonna allow you to use the standard bag, which gives you about uh, 60 days worth of dirt, but you can use the extra large bag, which should give you about 90 days, maybe 120 days. I'm not 100% sure how much larger the larger bag is. So that's the main reason why the design of the base. Also, the base is shorter, allowing you to get under different areas if you find that this base is too tall. Okay, so, the biggest elephant in the room is pricing. Now, the J7 is priced at $849 with the self emptying bin, but if you want to just get the robot vacuum, it's $649, so you can save about $200. I'm not sure if iRobot's gonna sell the self emptying bin later on for about $249. That's what they did with the i3 and all the other models. All right, so let's go and uh, keep looking here. So there's that new uh, pre-system vision navigation. You can see it can detect poo, and it gives the option for the user to say if that's poo or if it's a shoe straight. Um, you also have the self emptying bin, and you also have uh, keep out zones, area select. So no longer do you have to use these little doodads, you can get rid of those and use the app for the smart mapping features. 
And here's a look at all the other features of the J7. Let's go ahead and scroll down here, and there's the pricing 849 J7 Plus, which the plus means that it comes with a self emptying bin, and the precision vision navigation is what I talked about, allowing it to avoid those objects, also allows it to map out your floor plan. Okay, so another new feature about iRobot system is it's gonna have geofencing. So what it does is it uses your cell phone's GPS and if you go outside your home or maybe a different area, it will actually start the robot or maybe it will stop the robot. So for example, you wanna go to work, the robot vacuum will clean while you wait and when you come back, it will uh, stop cleaning and go back to the stopping station. So that's a cool feature. I know you could have done that with the IFTTT, but now it's included in the app. Also with the new Genius 3.0 platform, you do have all the features that you get with the i3, i4, i7, i8. That's input link, you get input mapping, you also get the uh, voice assistant support. And yes, with the voice assistant, you can tell it to clean a specific room. That's the only model that I know of, only brand I know of that can do that besides the Shark brand, which allows it to clean by a voice. Okay, let's go and uh, keep going here. So, uh, Along with the mapping, you do have the same design of the i3, uh, nothing really changed here. So I'm kind of excited to try out the J7. I'll let you guys know when I get to J7, I'll definitely do an in-depth review video of it. But you can see iRobot has a lot of accessories. So if you're considering buying an iRobot product, uh, keep in mind that they have pretty good customer service. Also, the accessories are widely available. Get to Amazon, Alibaba, AliExpress, even here in the US, I can go to my local Best Buy and get accessories for iRobot. So thanks so much for watching and stay tuned. If I find more about the J7, I'll let you guys know. But the main features is that poop avoiding feature, the new redesigned self-emptying bin, and also it has the new app features within the app, like the Genius 3.0 platform. So I'm glad that iRobot's kind of expanding and then experimenting with new features. All right, so have a great rest of the day, and thanks so much for watching. You take care, and stick around. I'll try to get the J7 on this channel. See you later.